and thanks for visiting our website, rebuilderinabox.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to rebuild the internal fan Bosch alternator, which is popular on the Dodge Ram that does not have a built-in regulator, and also various German car applications, and the GM 03 to 05 Century Impala Monte Carlo Grand Am has an internal fan very similar to these made by Bosch, but it has a built-in regulator. First thing that needs to be done is the plastic cover taken off the back. Remove the two 15 millimeter nuts and the Phillips screw. This one has a voltage regulator but a lot of them just have an empty brush holder assembly. They all mount up the same though. There's three Phillips heads that hold the assembly on. Remove those next. There's three screws that we just took out. The two long ones actually hold the two places we're about to point to in the alternator. The third shorter screw is only for the built-in regulator, which you can see has the brushes already assembled in it. You can see the four through bolts on the outer diameter of the alternator that hold it together. They have Phillips heads on them. But the best thing to use is a 516 socket. After the bolts have been unthreaded from the front plate, you won't be able to remove them and get them past the rectifier. And we want to leave the rectifier all soldered in place. So just leave them in there. One of them will come out, but the other three won't pass the rectifier. Now we have to take the front half out of the back half. Hold the back half with your left hand and tap on the front half with a ball-peen hammer. The rear bearing is held in place with the rear aluminum plate with a plastic tolerance ring. Usually when they come apart, the tolerance ring sticks to the bearing, so you have to take two screwdrivers, place them 180 degrees apart and pry up to get the tolerance ring off. Sometimes the tolerance ring, I should say quite often, the tolerance ring will break when you're removing it, and so that's why we supply a new tolerance ring with all the kits. We're also going to supply a puller with the kit and it's originally set up to be a two or three prong puller but notice how we converted it into the two prong puller and we got the front leg on the front of the bracket and the back leg on the back of the bracket so that you can pull in a balanced manner. Install the puller as such and finish pulling the rear bearing. To remove the pulley, wrap a rag around the outer diameter of the pulley. Then you need a half inch impact with a 15 16 socket counterclockwise. If the pulley gets stuck on the shaft, take two screwdrivers, drive them underneath the pulley in between the front plate and the pulley and pry up on them. Screw the pulley nut back onto the shaft halfway down through the threads. Place the rotor and front plate assembly in a vise so that the rotor goes down through the open jaws of the vise but sits